Welcome and hello. Let's talk the news. Today is June 28th, 2024. The U.S. isn't the only one all abuzz about who might be their country's next president, and Iran citizens are headed to the polls to elect their next president after the last one died in a helicopter crash. Apparently, there's a thing called the Guardian Council who's made up of 12 clerics and jurists who pick the six candidates the citizens have to choose from. Those six came from a list of 80 possibles, and all of it's overseen by the Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. That sounds free, fair, and democratic, right? We'll see who wins this clearly tailored election. In the opposite of whatever is happening in Iran, the world came together in the year 2000 to build the International Space Station, and now they need to plan to remove it from orbit. Because it's big, very big, and getting old, but not that old. And SpaceX won the opportunity, to no one's surprise. The goal is to take the ISS apart into three major sections, in space, and then deorbit them into the South Pacific. Deorbit is also known as crashing it into, if you didn't get that and it's going to be at just a mere 17,000 miles per hour. The ISS leaves us with a great legacy of nearly hundreds of scientific discoveries, including their ability to recycle 98% of their own pee and sweat, a technology they stole from Arrakis. I'll put a link in the description to list all those out. Talking about legacies, the first and probably only U.S. presidential debate between former President Trump and current President Biden took place last night at 9 p.m. Eastern and went for a cool 90 minutes where each candidate seemed the top of their game. Hitting. Biden showed the world that he's an old man who's been doing this a long time with his strongest moments in the debate often followed by his weakest. In terms of substance, Biden clearly won as he spent more of his time talking policy, results, and more, albeit barely. And even though that was true, it was far overshadowed by Trump's strongest moments. Letting Biden stumble, stutter, and stare off into nowhere before coming back with things like beating Medicare. If there was one good thing about last night's debate, it has finally gotten the establishment Democrats talking about running someone better for our country than a doddering old man. And if it showed one consistent thing, it was that Trump can lie on stage about various things, including stuff he doesn't need to lie about, and no one will stop him. Nor would any of his supporters really care. I hope that Biden is replaced. As I've said this since the selection cycle began, we need better than either of the major party candidates, and that's a pretty low bar. If you'd like to bask in the debate, I put my live stream link in the description. Now on to uh, what should be a bipartisan issue. What mass shootings happened yesterday? In Lancaster, California, on the 800 block of East Avenue, J-12, two people were killed and five others injured in a drive-by shooting that is being classified as gang-related activity by the detectives on the case. And let's end on a controversial topic. Soccer, or football for Brits, should be called soccer, not football. It's the most proper way of differentiating the sport. If you look up the history, football is more of a category of sports that rely on a ball and some kicking. Rugby football, association football, even American football. That association part got shortened over time to just soccer. And so to differentiate all the football type sports from one another, where you primarily just kick the ball, it's soccer. That's right, you Brits, it's soccer. Thanks to you. This video is brought to you by Caffeine Zombies. Coffee's so good. It'll wake the dead.